Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Chris, this is Salty Strikes Fishing Channel, and I keep getting asked two questions over and over again. We're gonna answer those in today's video, so stick around, check it out. All right, everybody knows that a trolling motor is an absolute game changer from having to throw an anchor and pull it back up and all that mess. It makes things so much easier. And how we power those things makes a big difference too. And if you guys have been following along, and most of your subscribers know that I've partnered up with quite a few lithium battery companies, um, three actually, made quite a few review videos and they become pretty popular. And I get asked a lot of questions over and over again. Since I've worked with three different battery companies, I get people asking me which battery you had to do it over again. Well, it's complicated because Honestly, I don't partner up with anybody that I don't think is good for you guys or good for me. So, you know, my reputation is more important than just, you know, getting a free battery from somebody. So I always make sure I try to do a little bit of research enough to kind of have a good understanding about these companies, you know, how well these batteries are made, you know, longevity. I look at uh, reviews and uh, other YouTube videos online where they do tear downs of the batteries and show the, the inside ins and outs of these things. But anyway, so to answer that question, it's a little complicated because it just depends on what your needs are. And that's why I kind of make these videos so that it'll help you guys out to make good decisions for you. Because not every battery is going to be perfect for that, that person. Like, uh, let's, go, let's go through them real quick. My first uh, collaboration was with uh, Lee Time Batteries. And actually, I didn't you get a battery for the boat. They gave me a battery and I actually put it into my uh, fifth wheel RV to we're building up big off-grid power system and our fifth wheel RV for doing some, you know, fun travel and hopefully some fancy fishing later on down the road. But that's another story. Go back just a little bit. I actually bought another battery, the same exact battery before they came to me. So I already had one of their batteries and then they came to me and they offered me a battery. So I took a second one. So that way I had two, that was just more power. That was a 24 volt, 200 amp hour lithium lead time battery. And I liked them so much, I bought two more. So I had four of those batteries. So I have four of those lithium batteries that I can uh, power my our fifth wheel RV and go on adventures and stuff like that. But like I said, that's a whole different story anyway, but they've been working great. They're fantastic. They don't, they don't have any bells or whistles to them. Really. There's no, uh, you know, Bluetooth app. There's uh, that you don't, you don't get a charger with it. Um, you, even though I think some options you, that you can buy a charger with these things, this was just a basic battery. And that, and I think the lead time battery would be perfect if like you're not interested in any of the extra stuff. It's just a good budget battery, lithium battery that will last you a long time and provide plenty of power. And it actually took them, me talking to them for them to finally make a 36 volt, 100 amp hour battery. I actually uh, worked with them and before they talked to me, they didn't even have one available. So I talked to them and they're like, all right, yeah, you know, I'm like, this is a big market. People are, you know, lead acid and ATMs are going out the window and, you know, there's tons of saltwater boats out there and tons of trolling motors and they need to be powered. And if you guys put a 36 volt, 100 amp hour battery out there, guarantee people are going to want that. So they finally made one basically specifically for golf carts and uh, trolling motors. I'll leave that link down in the description area below too. I would highly recommend lead time uh, lithium batteries, but would I get that again for this boat? Maybe, maybe not. We'll get to that in just a minute. All right. So the next battery company that we teamed up with was uh, EnjoyBot. They offered me a 36 volt, 100 amp hour battery, but there was something special about them. At the time, I still had my old uh, generic Chinese 80 amp hour lithium 36 volt battery. I had a lithium battery that just, and it was still working fine. It actually is in a friend's boat right now. Uh, I took that and put it in a friend's boat, but we installed that EnjoyBot battery in here. But the thing with that EnjoyBot battery, it came with a Bluetooth uh, app connectivity. So I can see exactly how much power is and how much going in, how much is coming out and kind of track that information. I made a whole video about tracking all that stuff and exactly figuring out how long you can last, you know, at different speeds on your trolling motor, like in heavy current and slower current and made a whole video about all that mess. Link down in the description here too below. That is an extremely good option. And like I said, I did my research on these batteries and I've had this one for, I, uh, I forget how long now, but for quite a while now, and it's been working fantastic nonstop. And if you want a little bit extra, and of course, you know, with the extra bells and whistles, like the Bluetooth app, you know, you're gonna, it's gonna cost a little bit more money than the, the, the basic lead time battery. 
I'd rather have to be able to have the access to the information than not. But you can always also buy a shunt or like a battery monitor that you can install instead of have an app. So far, I've never run out of power with my 100 amp hour enjoy bot battery. I hardly ever get below 50%. This thing has been fantastic and running nonstop for quite a while now. Would I get the enjoy bot battery again? Definitely would, but that may not be the best option for you. So we're gonna talk about the next one. All right, so then Repower Flow offered me up 100 amp hour lithium battery, but there was something special about this one that I, I, I thought they went way out of their way and, and I think every lithium battery company should take note of what they did is they offered the battery with a charger, with the Bluetooth connectivity, with the app and a battery monitor that you can mount in your dash to keep track of it. So it comes with everything everything that you need. And because I already had the EnjoyBot battery in my boat, we installed it in my buddy, uh, Jetty Rocks Mike D over on his channel. And we, we put that in his boat and he's been running fantastic with that thing. He has nothing but great things to say about it. Which one would I choose? But you just have to kind of think, well, what are your needs? Like I already have a battery charger. I already have a battery monitor. So I don't need those two things. So I probably would not get the repower flow because you're buying extra stuff that you already have. Do I want to get the base lead time battery? It would work great, but I honestly really like the connectivity of the Bluetooth app to be able to read out and check my battery, see how much uh, power is going in. But if I was uh, starting from scratch, I didn't have the battery monitor, I didn't have a charger or anything like that, I would the Repower Flow would definitely be a great option because it gives you everything in one package it does probably cost a little bit more, but you're not paying extra. It comes with it. And especially because the battery monitor, you don't have to do any programming or anything. You just plug it in. It's all plug and play. Super easy. Uh, you don't really have to even think about it too much. It's just positive and negative. Slap them on. Um, mount the battery monitor where you want to go. Download the app. Connect it with Bluetooth. Done. That easy. Now let's get to the second question that I get all the time. Which lithium battery charger do you choose? Well, here's the thing. I started off with a cheaper one, but then this company reached out to me and check this out. Well, this is what I've been using. I just went for something that's uh, cheap. This is salt water. It's a salt water boat. It's, and I leave this inside the boat. So I'm just assuming that it's going to deteriorate over time. And I just don't want to spend a lot of money on a charger that's not waterproof and is probably eventually some of the components are going to corrode because of just being exposed to, you know, the saltwater environment. That's what I've been putting in mind and it's been working great. Now, I think this is like $40, $45 or something like that. But, but a company reached out to me and they wanted me to try out this uh, 36 volt lithium charger. And this thing is completely waterproof. It is IP65 rated. So I'm thinking this is going to hold up pretty well. Uh, and it, it, the other bonus is it charges twice as fast as this one, cheap one. So it's, it is a little, little pricier, but if I don't ever have to replace it and the fact that it charges twice as fast, I think that's a pretty good bonus. This is from Suraziki and it's pretty heavy duty. We're going to install this thing in here and then we're going to use it for a little while. See how we like it. All right, so we got the negative hooked up here. We've got the positive hooked up. It's gonna tighten that down. That's all set. All right, we're gonna screw these down right here. All right, so I got it plugged in over here, which goes through a through hole I'll show you in a second. And I just screwed it down here and zip tied it around. And then I just have it plugged into the battery. And I just have a plug over here on the outside to plug it in. Just like that. And then you can start seeing the voltage showing up there. You could charge it in four hours. Or if it was only half dead, you could charge it in two. So it's pretty quick. All right, so our friends over at Sarazeki, they sent us that battery charger. I installed it a little while ago and I wanted to make sure it's working well and doing what it's supposed to uh, before I talk to you guys about it. But, you know, at first I bought that cheap one because the battery charger, because I figured, you know, salt water, it's going to go bad eventually. And I'd rather spend a little bit and just replace it over time. But with this one, 
hopefully I shouldn't have to replace it for a long, long time because it's completely waterproof. It's IP65 rated and it charges twice as fast. My other one was putting about 350 watts uh, into the battery at a time. And this one, uh, new charger, puts a little over 800 watts. So it's basically over double of what I was getting before. Hopefully this one's gonna last a long time. And I saw that a little bit while ago because I wanted to check it out before I, I wanted to talk to you guys about it, make sure it's legit and doing everything it's supposed to. But so far it's been working great. You know, if you wanna go on the cheap and do like I did and get the cheaper one and just replace that as it, they go bad because you know, it's not waterproof or anything like that. Or you can buy this one. I'll leave a link down in the description area below. And uh, it charges faster and it's waterproof and should last for a long time. I'll even uh, link a description for like one of the pass-throughs so you can plug it in so you can just leave it mounted inside your center console or wherever your battery's at. And I'm happy they reached out to me because I was actually thinking about buying one, but, <laughs> but lo and behold, you know, we got one. And so it's been working great and hopefully you, it'll help you guys out to make a decision which one you get. If, if I had to do it all over again, as far as the chargers go, I probably would have got the waterproof one from the start and just one and done it and hopefully not have her, ever have to really replace it. All right, down to the nitty gritty. Which battery would you choose to get again if you had to start over? Well, I probably would not get the repower flow because, you know, I already had the charger and the monitoring system. And I really, like I said, I really like the Bluetooth connectivity of the EnjoyBot, the bare bones, cheap lead time, cheaper lead time is kind of you know tempting too but i really enjoy this enjoy bot battery and i probably would get the enjoy bot again but that's not gonna that's not gonna fit, may not fit your needs you may already have a battery monitor or charger or whatever and lead time you don't care about the apps and the bluetooth and stuff like that so that may be something you're not interested in, you're not going to use anyway so get the lead time um spend a little less money but I would probably spend a few extra bucks for myself and get the enjoy bot. But if I was honestly, if I was starting from scratch, I didn't have anything, I would definitely probably get the repower flow because it's got the charger, the battery monitor, the Bluetooth, everything all in one inclusive. And all three of those batteries has been working well. Mike's still using it on his boat, working fantastic. I got the enjoy bot on here uh, and it's running great. I got four lead time batteries in my RV that's been powering that thing fantastically. So hopefully this guy's, this will help you out and give you some clarification on, uh, you know, which battery is right for you. Because that's why I do these reviews and partner up with these guys, because I want to give you guys the best information and the best stuff so that it, it'll help me make a decision that's best for you. Because not, you know, not everything is going to fit the bill for everybody. Everybody needs are a little bit different. So hopefully that helps you out, guys. Thanks for coming along. Uh, if you got something out of this and you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all that fancy jazz. Give this video a big thumbs up. Shows us you appreciate the content because we appreciate you guys. And hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay salty.